All right, everybody, it's TJ Ron back on the mic. It looks like we now have a game between Fra no, yeah, Frown and Candle. As it seems to be there's something being discussed right now. There was some discrepancy going on, but it looks like we're good now. And this will be losers final, so this will be three out of five. <laughs> Uzi here takes third place while winner takes the winner's bracket or winner's bracket winner of uh Claudio. Alright, uh, here we go for real for real this time. Got Pitt versus Roy. Roy opening up fairly well. Looking for his bread and butters to get his damage up. Pit getting his bread and butters off, down throw forward air. No final hit for the mix up. Fair to get the off stage pressure. Goes the punish on the up B. Plenty of snipes for extra damage and the kill. There it is. Those snipes are uh, really scary. But that neutral B is just as scary. Finishing up that stock right there. Both stocks taken really early. Pit poking for damage where he can, trying to stay away from that sweet spot of Roy. Almost had the punish on the get up. The stage control. Let's see what Pit does here. Still taking control. From a distance now, we've got Roy switching things up, trying to get the two frame with his neutral B. Forward smash, not gonna take it quite yet. Doing mad damage though. Poking the shield, side B, getting in to close things up, the reset neutral. The down air spike just running off and doing it. The punish on the side B on the invincibility frames coming here. Getting some mad damage racked up. Still not the kill quite yet. He's looking for it though. But the longer he waits to get it, the more Pit can rack up this extra credit. It's like Pit taking control of stage here. It's a weird bit of. Okay, well, looks like we take those. Looks like Pitt's wanting to take the stage control back yet again. Almost tried to finish it up there with the F smash right at the ledge. Really taking it back. Just keeping the stage control, keeping him off stage, backing up whatever damage he can. The counter, we have yet to see that come out tonight. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, let's see why he doesn't wait for Pit to get back on stage when he's on the ledge to charge up a little bit more of his neutral B. He could deal some mad shield damage as well as potentially get the kill if he messes up his uh, shield option. Neutral playing here. The forward throw to get that stage control back. Goes for the edge guard. Like Roy back in control here. Forward air off stage is going to do it there. Making it 1 0 in Frown's favor.
<laughs> Please ignore my girly noises here. I'm being threatened with a rubber band. I'm being shown a picture of a foot for some reason. Oh, <laughs> uh, I lost two frown. Mm -hmm. No, and yeah, and losers. Whatever was saying that, oh, I'm too tired. No, I didn't play Chris. Yeah. Oh no, I lost to Jacob and uh, losers. That's what it was. I played both of them back to back. So we have a duck hunt out now. Maybe the matchup to help things out a bit. Looks like it was helping him for a bit as he had the lead for a second. Now it's just back to being right even. Just trading back and forth here. No real advantage here. But it looks like Roy has a little bit more kill potential here as he takes that stuff just like that right there. Racking up a little bit of extra percent here on the next stock. That can be a non-stop on stage presence. As we're trying to as Kendall's trying to maneuver that cannon around to his advantage. Playing really aggressively to get back on stage. Really questionable to play like that against uh, Roy. And that SD is just going to do it. Tries to fish for this up air to get the finish the stock out. Gunner dealing mad damage while he was uh, uh, chasing him up with that can, just barely missing. The up smash going to deal a lot of damage. Can back on stage. Almost had the kill confirmed. F2 almost finishing it off at 193. The F smash will definitely do it there, though. Tried to run up and jab. Roy kind of said, nah, I don't want that happening. Stage control back in Roy's favor. That F smash going to finish it up, making it 2-0 in Frown's favor. And with this being Loser's Finals, this is a 3 out of 5, so Frown needs one more to take the win. Candle needs to win three in a row. We have some uh, cheers from the crowd in the background. I didn't hear a word of that, what? Yeah, better. <laughs> Alright, we're back at it, bringing the pit back out when it comes to the candle. The Nair to break out of that little combo string that Roy had. Damage coming out here for Candle, taking this lead to a solid bit. Down there, running off and just doing it. It's been working for him all night tonight. He doesn't go for it often, but when he has, it's been a 100% success rate so far. Side B super armoring through that neutral B edge guard here. Some neutral coming out from both players. 
Brown having to play smart to bring this league back into his favor. Up tilt, not quite going to do it yet. Stage spiking him. Almost finishing off that stock. Side B, not super armoring through the end of that uh, back air. Handle racking up a good bit of percent here to carry this lead with him. Tried to get the down air F smash confirmed, not quite yet. Side B dealing in that little bit of extra damage he may need. Didn't get anything off of that down there. Roy finish or punish him to finish off that stock. Like Roy doing everything he can to bring his damage back. Kendall just cannot get around with that side B going to being able to reset neutral here. Uh, neutral B in his face. Just that most disrespect to getting that F smash and taunting finishing up that butt stock right there. F smash to keep Roy off stage. Up air not quite finishing off yet. Back air keeping him off stage. Guaranteed damage with down throw forward air. Jab carrying him up to 81%. The stock could be taken out pretty early. Especially with all of the rage that Candle currently has. Frown with the neutral B on get up. Up B to finish, or punish that up smash for some big damage. I'm surprised not to see a smash attack to finish that stock off. Throw off stage to snipe him. Making it back. Not quite get punishing that get up. But that side B? Not quite. The DI was strong with this one. <laughs> But that F smash there will do it though. That'll make it 2 1, still in Frown's favor, but Candle bringing it right back. a rip and we have a uh, drop diet Pepsi here with the lid on it seems like we need an F in the chat but speaking of F's looks like somebody here is going to be taking this F as we're back at it with the Pitt versus Roy matchup here neutral play coming here. And goes the stage control here from Frown. The neutral B punish on the side B. Trying to get the ledge guarding here. Neutral B just to smack him away again. This damage just racking up because uh, Candor cannot get back on stage. Go, taking the stage advantage from uh, Frown here. 
that up B, just sending him away from the edge to let him back on. The dash attack finishing it off. Side B to rack up some damage here. It's a little bit of extra credit. Candle needs to find this stock wherever he can get it. Run off down air, not working this time. Side B, no, but that side B will punish that whiff on the punish on the side B. Hey, I don't see anyone else commentating, so I'm gonna just roll with everything that I said. Got some uh, damage combos coming in from Candle to bring things back. So we got the edge guard coming in from Candle, almost carrying on Roy off the stage. Side B, not quite finishing it off yet. Almost took him to the end of the blast zone there. That F smash will do it. Sweet spot right at the edge. Aggressively and neutral here, trying to rack up whatever damage he can. F tilt doing, jeez, well, almost 20% there, it looked like. That's what that sweet spot for Roy does. Ooh, first hit of landing fair to F smash for the Krilling across stage. like Kendall needs a nice solid string to be able to bring things right back. He's got a down tilt to fair. As the offstage, uh, oh no, he uh, elects to put him back on stage with that throw punish. A down tilt to fair to carry him off stage, looking for another fair. Doesn't get it. Roy just pushing him off stage, not allowing him to get this comeback as easy as he wants it. So get some neutral bees to hopefully gonna back on safe, but that fair just finishing off that stock and this set. That'll be the end of losers finals with uh, Candle getting third place.